Hey everyone, Kita Sean here. So welcome back to another Pokemon video here on the Kita Sean TCG channel. So as you can see in front of you, we have the Dark Ride V-Star Premium Collection box. This is the box that you can get at Walmart exclusively for $20 because it is the Black Friday deal box. There are a lot of packs in here, eight packs, two promo cards, and a jumbo Dark Ride V-Star. This is a deal. I highly recommend you guys buy this box if you guys want to sort out a deal. So we do have Astro Radiance, Lost Origins, and we also have uh, Brilliant Stars. It looks like it's three Astro Radiance, three Brilliant Stars, and two Lost Origins. Really cool that we get to see Lost Origins. Uh, I believe they, you know, packaged this up before releasing uh, Silver Tempest. It would have been cool if we saw Silver Tempest in here, but um, I mean, it's still Lost Origins. Uh, I do still need cards from Lost Origins. I still need cards from Astro Radiance as well as Brilliant Stars. So um, I thought this was a steal. So I bought four of these boxes. And yes, we're going to be opening up all four of them. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and open some packs. So we're going to go ahead and open up the first box here. And then we'll go on and just get the packs from the uh, other boxes and just uh, open those but because like you know the promo cards and the jumbo card is all gonna be the same here and um, wow this is actually packaged pretty interesting uh, whoa ha, 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 okay I was gonna say like how, how, how is that sticking up there okay so here you are the dark right V uh, promo card let me get that in focus here is it focusing it's not focusing I don't know why it's not focusing there you go so there you go the dark right V and then we have the dark right oh I dropped it oh no it's damage rip I can't send it at the uh, PSA anymore <laughs> like I ever was but um, then we have the dark right V star promo card here and then of course the uh, jumbo version of that same card so awesome I'm actually thinking about collecting jumbo cards. Like I know jumbo cards are uh, pretty cheap to to purchase, but um, yeah, I just thought it was um, a pretty cool little collector item. Um, I actually did buy the GameStop exclusive Arceus box, but uh, they apparently sent it to a different address, which is unbelievable. Um, I don't know how that happened. So I'm currently uh, waiting for my box to arrive. Hopefully it will arrive soon, but uh, it might take a couple days before I get it. So hopefully those come in soon. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and open some packs here from this Dark Rye uh, premium special box here. So uh, once again, we have um, how many packs here? So, oh, we only have two Brilliant Stars. Oh, interesting. Okay. So we have two Brilliant Star packs here. And then we have, uh, how many Astro? Okay, we have four Astro Radiances. Oh, okay. I was uh, expecting one of the uh, other packs on the right side to be another Brilliant Star. Okay, so we got four Astro Radiances. And then two Lost Origins. And of course, the code card as well as a V-Star marker. So uh, let's go ahead and start off with the Lost Origins. I actually opened up a lot of Lost Origins, so I do have most of the cards, but um, there are, again, some cards that I still need from this set. Uh, I mean, it would be really cool if I got another Giratina. I mean, I already have a Giratina all art, but uh, it was, again, it would be really cool if I get one, but obviously we're not getting one here. Can we still get a Trainer Gallery though? That'd be really cool, please. Uh, that, uh, that'd be really awesome. No, we got a Rhyhorn Reverse Foil. Not what we want to see and then we got a comfy rare card and then energy and then everything else so and there was that code card for that so um not a good start unfortunately but again we still have a lot of packs to go through again i bought four of those boxes so uh yeah we still have a lot of packs but let's go ahead and open this guy up let's not look at the code card usually i never like looking at the code card but all right let's see very, all right, we got a uh, love disc uh, reverse foil. Do we have something here? Oh, we do have something. It is a fire type. Oh, uh, you know, I think I know what it is. Yep, I knew it. It is a Delphox V. Hey, at least we got a hit. So that's cool. So that's our hit from Lost Origins. That's our first hit. And then um, code card for you guys. And uh, let's keep moving here. So Astro Radiance, uh, I don't really open a lot of Astro Radiance. Um, I do want to because there are, are, are a lot of packs or a lot of cards in Astro Radiance that I don't have. But I've been buying a lot of singles, so um, I mean, it'd be really cool to get a card that I don't have. But at the same time, I can always use the dupe that I, I already bought to, uh, you know, to trade. 
but let's go ahead and go he and pull here. So we have a Bronzong Reverse Foil. Can we get something behind it? No, we cannot. Alright, go Zisu. Yeah, so I did buy a Zisu FA. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting another one. I can use that as trade bait. I don't think anyone really cares about Zisu, but uh, you get what I mean. Here is that code card. And then let's go ahead and open up some more Astral Radiance. Uh, Brilliant Stars. Uh, I can't remember exactly what's in Brilliant Stars, but I do know there are a lot of cards I don't have in Brilliant Stars. Oh, oh, we got a hit. So that's good. That's a good sign. Here we go. So Reverse Foil, Hisuian Sneasler. Okay, I actually don't have this, which is uh, interesting. Again, I don't really open a lot of Astral Radiance, but right behind it is going to be a Water type. What's a Water type in Astral Radiance? I actually don't remember. Here we go. Well, bam! Oh no, it's a grass type. Oops. I, oh, you know, I was looking at that at the water energy. <laughs> but the Vidral V. We got the Vidral V. I don't have this card. Not really a card that I'm looking for. I'm looking for the alt art though. That's for sure. So there's the Vidral V. That's our second hit of uh, this box, which is actually pretty cool. And then there's the code card for you guys. So uh, what do you guys? Um, think about this box. I actually think again, it's a huge deal 20 bucks for uh, For eight packs and then you know a jumbo card as well as two promo cards dark ride Which I believe is a pretty good card uh, Competitively, I do see a lot of uh, I mean they're probably not now. Oh, that's not a good uh, It's probably not now, but like it was pretty good, you know, so oh nice We got a full links trainer gallery. I will take that. I actually really love this artwork I mean yeah, Bea in the back there so one of my favorite trainer gallery cards, definitely a, a good one. And then we have a Reggie Drago. Of course, Reggie Drago recently um, got an alt art, which is pretty cool. Um, I think I said this before in my uh, previous video, but I don't really like how they keep printing out, um, you know, the same Pokemons over and over again. It would be really cool if they, uh, you know, really release more cards with, you know, different Pokemon. But at the same time, this is, again, this is like, uh, you know, one, like a, a card like this, it's not like a, a V or a V star, but still I would rather see uh, more variety if anything. But let's go ahead and open up our last Asteroid Adiance pack, and then we'll move on to Brilliant Stars. And then right after that, we'll just only open packs because again, we already know what these boxes uh, contain when it comes to the promo. Oh, we got another green. So that's a good sign. So what can we get here? Scyther, Stanler, Yama, and we got Hoot Hoot, and we got a Reverse Foil, He's Swing, Cool Fish, and then right behind it is, oh, oh, I was gonna say, that's not a hit, but it is a Misprit Hollow. okay. That's pretty cool, I actually like this artwork. It's actually really nice. Did not know this is a card that existed, but yeah, it's a pretty nice looking card, actually. I'll take it, and then card feed code card for you guys all right let's keep moving so now we're going to brilliant stars here i believe charizard does exist in here so hopefully we can get a charizard that'd be awesome like i don't really think i ever had a really good hit in these premium boxes so i mean it'd be really nice to get a hit a really good one at least you know in these boxes i really usually don't have good luck so we have a cherubi and then right behind the cherubi is gonna be wabam a lapras rare not really what, what I want to see, but uh, sure. Uh, Marnie's Pride. That's a really cool card. And then a uh, code card. Marnie's Pride. Um, definitely love that card. I think it's a really nice card. It's a really easy card to get uh, in America. Japan, super hard. Uh, very expensive in Japan. But all right, let's go ahead and see what we have here. This is the last pack of the box. Can we get something? It does look like we got something. Uh, we have an Electro Buzz Reverse Foil though, but what do we have behind it? Oh, it's a, tr it's a FA Trainer, guys. It's an FA Trainer. You guys know I collect FA Trainers, so it'd be really cool if it's an FA Trainer that I don't have. Here we go. Here we go. Well, bam. Oh, Sharon's Care. I do not have this, surprisingly. I know you guys are going to be like, what? You don't have Sharon's Care? I do not. This is actually a card that I actually really wanted. So yes, I am super happy with this. This is awesome. This is actually probably my first time that I got a really big hit opening up boxes like this. So this is actually a win for me. Very, very happy about this. Awesome. 
and then there you guys go hopefully you guys get something cool in this code card so uh with that uh we actually have oh let me get rid of these foils there so to me these are the hits of the box which is actually pretty good in my opinion uh I, i'm pretty sure we don't make our money back but still um just getting uh one of my favorite trainer gallery cards and getting a fa sharon's care i'm super happy but now let's go ahead and open up the other boxes the other packs and see if we can get some really cool stuff in there all right here we are we opened up all the boxes we got all the packs here so obviously we have a whole stack of astro radiance there and then lost origins brilliant stars so we're gonna go ahead and start off with astro radiance because it has uh the most packs here so let's go hopefully again we get something really awesome i'm super super satisfied with my first box uh oh no we got a white card but can we get a trainer gallery but again i was actually super super happy with my uh first box because we got the sharon sharon's care so that's really awesome leafy on is also a, a win for me i usually keep those cards so that i can you know uh give it away kind of thing or just keep it in my leafy collection but um sometimes i'll, I'll sign the cards and give them away to people uh, i actually have done that once already which is actually pretty cool but uh here we go oh, another white card not what i want to see but can we get a trainer gallery nope we got another reverse foil but uh all right let's keep on going here so um, if you guys open these boxes, let me know in the comment section what you guys got. And um, do these premium boxes usually give you some good cards? For me, again, not really. Uh, this is actually my first big pull in a premium box like this. So uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, a Rage Ice Reverse Foil. But yeah, it, it's, it's pretty crazy to uh, get some pull out of these boxes. That's why I usually buy singles or buy booster boxes because booster boxes you're always guaranteed a bunch of hits but you know um you're still not guaranteed to you know get uh what you want i mean you have a chance but still uh i, I like buying booster boxes instead of these uh these boxes that have loose packs in them and um yeah that's just, uh, to me that's just not uh, as fun because again uh, it's just you know the chances are super low to get what you want but here we go oh we got a reverse foil rocks and but can we get something? I didn't look at the card in the back. So can we get something here? And no, we cannot. Reggie Steel and then Code Card. So, uh, so far, Asta Radiance is failing me right now. Not the greatest uh, pack openings for Asta Radiance here. So here we go. Not looking at the, the Code Card again. Can we get something cool? Oh, we got a Reverse Foil Claver. No, I, I, I actually do not have this. So I'm actually super happy with this pull so that's really cool don't know exactly what box of this is but uh, we also do we have something in the back no we don't but uh, we got a cleaver trainer gallery again i don't have this card not the most expensive card but still again i don't have it so i'm super super happy with this i don't have to buy a single anymore for it but uh let's go uh basket legion he's form and then everything else is whatever is so, um, all right, pretty good, pretty good. So got two cards that I do not have in my collection, which is very awesome, very happy with that. But can we get more? I want more and I wa also want to see some uh, pretty amazing cards. Okay, another white one, that's not cool. But can we get a trainer gallery? And no, we cannot, we got a Scyther though. And another Reggie Ice uh, <laughs> rare. So boom, boom, boom. Alright, we still have a few more packs of Astro Radiance and then we'll move on to, hmm, which one should we go to? We should, let's go to Lost Origins. I've opened a lot of boxes from Lost Origins and um, I was, again, able to pull the uh, uh, the Giratina All Art. So, uh, I actually, oh, we got a Reversal Registeel and a Seawolf. So, I wouldn't really mind um, anything from Lost Origins. I, I can't exactly remember what I don't have. I know I don't have uh, some of the other All Arts. I'll probably put it on screen. Uh, showing you guys like what I don't have from Lost Origins, but uh, yeah, those cards are cards that I do not have yet, and I definitely want to try and pick pick them up. Ooh, we got a hit here, so hopefully it's something really cool. So we got a reverse foil, knocked owl. Do we have a hit? We do have a hit. Ooh, I actually don't know what this is. So it is steel. I don't know. What is it? Well, bam. Oh, Origin Form Dialga V. Oh, wow. That's really cool. 
I don't have this card and of course I do want the alt art for Dialga V origin form but hey I'll take it to hit and um, boom 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 so uh, Dialga V um, I kind of thought that it would be a strong card in the meta but it is not Palkia though um, is it's uh, said to be one of the strongest if not the strongest deck in the meta but obviously going into Silver Tempest meta now that can all change, but I do believe Palkia still might be a pretty strong deck to uh, uh, to be in competitive play. But uh, who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. But we have a reverse for Hisuian Basculin, and then next is going to be the Vespa Queen. Uh, nothing here, nothing here. But okay, not too bad, uh, not too bad. Uh, Astro Radiance, uh, doing pretty solid. Uh, I, I think we got, I actually don't remember exactly what other if we, can't, we got from Astro Radiance. But um, if we can get, you know, the Palkia or the Dialga All Art, that is A-OK -okay with me. So here we go. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Gape Jub Bug Reverse Foil, and right behind it is a Avalog. So, of course, in uh, Hisuin, really huge, really huge. So, uh, too bad we can't catch it. <laughs> but, alright, let's keep going here. So, uh, we have two more back packs of Aster Radiance. Hopefully we can get some hits here. That'd be really cool if we do. Alright, here we go. So of course, uh oh, Gleamel, and then a Reggie Lecky. Mm. So of course, uh Scarlet and Violet or Scarlet and Violet is releasing really soon. Uh to be really honest, I'm actually recording this uh two days before release. Uh, I, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and release this video before the release of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Of course, that set, uh, that that game is coming out really soon. I did pre-order um, two Japanese versions to get the Pokemon promos. Uh, I did pre-order, <coughs> excuse me, I did pre-order an English version because I wanted to play the game right away. And um, I'm just excited to see the Pokemon cards for uh, that game. That's gonna be really awesome. Uh, a hippo pull down, a reverse pull. Do we have something? No, we have another Seavul rare. So yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to see the Pokemon cards from the Scarlet and Violet era, and uh, hopefully we get to see some really cool uh, all arts or some kind of like new version of the Trainer Gallery because uh, we do know Trainer Galleries are coming to an end. But hey, you never know; they actually might keep doing the Trainer Gallery because they were so popular. But they might do something something else. We'll we'll just have to wait and see. Um, I actually hope they keep the Trainer Gallery because there are a lot of trainers that have yet to get their own Trainer Gallery, and I would love to see that. So hopefully we can see that in the future. But um, I'm also very excited to see a bunch of the uh, FA trainers in the future as well. Uh, we didn't get a hit, but it does look like we have a trainer gallery. Don't know what it is. Here we and boom! Oh, the spirit bomb, our uh, spirit tomb. Sorry. So that's awesome. I actually have a couple of these already, but um, always, always welcome to get a. Uh, trainer gallery and then we have a stone journer. I've seen a bunch of those stone journers. So we well, bam So yeah, again, I've opened up a bunch of lost origins before and um, A lot of these cards I actually already have but uh, the really expensive ones. I do not have yet. So um, mm, Another white card. Can we get a trainer gallery though? That'd be awesome. No, we cannot Paras and a polyrath. So uh, yeah um, Again, I'm very excited to see what happens up, in, uh, what happens in Scarlet and Violet, story-wise on the game. But there are uh, pretty cool trainers, gym leaders in the game. So again, I'm very excited to see some uh, F FAs uh, of those characters. But let's keep going here. Can we get something? No, we cannot port on Z. Do we get a hit? No, we do not. Okay. So Lost Origins, um, not really looking good for Lost Origins right now. What's, what's going on, Lost Origins? So again. Um, I usually never buy these premium boxes, not really a big fan, unless they have some really cool promo cards. Uh, Crown Venice is going to have some really, really cool looking uh, promo cards. I mean, they're bringing in the Morpeko uh, Union card with uh, Marnie in the picture. So that's actually very exciting in Japan. That's actually a uh, pretty hard uh, card to get or four cards to get because... Um, it's just really hard to get like the that that set like if you get one if you see one more Peko Union card in your pack You actually get all four of them, which is actually a really cool thing But uh, it's still really hard to pull which is the crazy part, but 
All right, we have another trainer gala. We have a Parasect. I actually already have a Parasect. I have a bunch of these actually, so uh, I'm not too excited for this one. But again, trainer gala, I'll take it. Uh, no hit though, which uh, it hurts. But um, last Lost Origin pack here. Hopefully we can get something. Hopefully we can get a hit. That'd be really awesome. Please make it happen. Lost Origin, last box or pack. Uh, we have a Reverse Foil Pikachu and we do have a hit and it is another Delphox V. I have a bunch of these already. Don't need any more. <laughs> but uh, there you go for Lost Origins. Didn't really get lucky with this one, unfortunately. But we have Brilliant Stars here. So hopefully we can get some cool cards and Brilliant Stars. Can we get anything? No, we cannot. But can we get a really cool Drainer Gallery? No, we got a Spirit Tomb though. And uh, we have a Life Herd. And then uh, Friends and Galar. Obviously, this got a FA in Silver Tempest. Super, super happy with this. And then um, in Japan, uh, the uh, I think it was V Universe, V Star Universe. They're coming out with Friends of Sinnoh. Um, that's going to be super, super cool. I can't wait to see an FA for that. Uh, the question is, when are they going to be releasing it? Are they actually going to be releasing with um, the upcoming set? But uh, for us US, I wonder if that's going to actually come out or are they going to be in a future set? Um, again, nothing here. Crawdont uh, and all cream. And then, yeah, that's, that's it. All right, so we still have a couple more packs left. Hopefully, we can get some really cool stuff here. Whoop, bam. Well, bam, well, bam, here we go. Uh, we got a shroomish, and then do we have a hit? No, we do not. Ooh, that's not good. Thinthia's Ambition, though, so uh, that's a really cool co looking uh, card. Sharon's Care, we pulled that earlier. So, um, yeah, again, I, I don't know why uh, I only collect FA trainers right now. Like, I do plan to collect some other uh you know um series in the, in in the future but fa trainers they, they just look amazing and um i mean they just keep coming out so it's so cool but i i just like trainers more than the pokemon for some reason i don't know i just like the characters more <laughs> but here we go so we got a trainer gallery we have a dusk nor nice okay i actually do have this already but uh it's my first time pulling it i actually uh did a trade to get this dusk nor but it's always cool to get another one and we got a muck and this muck looks cool I actually oh, let me focus all right i actually like this muck uh muck artwork that's, that's actually really cool looking but unfortunately we got nothing else but uh we have two more packs left hopefully we can get something here please make it happen can we get something hopefully badoof badoof needs more love Badoof is love. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, we got another trainer gallery. We have an artillery. Okay, we're actually pulling some trainer galleries, which is actually really awesome. Super, ha uh, super happy about that. We do have a hit. Uh, I don't know if it's a really good one, but it is a psychic type though. So here we go. Well, bam. Ooh, Mimi QV. Awesome. That's cool. It's not the greatest hit in the world, but hey, I'll take it. Mimi Q is cute and very popular. So, well, bam. Um, last pack. All right, here we go, guys. Can we get something cool in the last pack? Uh, honestly, I have my doubts. So, uh, again, I don't really get the greatest hits in these boxes, but of course it's white so yeah this we're not getting anything here. can we get a trainer gallery though no we cannot <laughs> oh well well there you have it that is uh four boxes of the dark rye v star premium box um again i think it's still a really good deal 20 bucks for eight packs two promo cards and a jumbo card i still think that's a really really good uh deal so i highly recommend checking out your local walmart to get those boxes am i gonna buy any more probably not um i'm just gonna go ahead and uh wait for crown venus to come out i'll just go buy some singles and not only that i'm going to japan next month so uh, i'm gonna be buying some pokemon cards out there but here are all the big hits that i uh got from this box honestly not too bad not too oh that's not a hit but honestly it's not too bad again um i don't have these two cards so uh, I'm super happy by pulling these guys and um, I pulled some of my favorite uh, trainer gallery cards. So uh, again, I'm, I'm actually pretty satisfied with these boxes, but that's going to be about it for the video guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to subscribe, like the video, comment down below and tell me what you guys got. If you guys bought these boxes and do you guys think it's a good deal to buy these boxes? 
And also check out my main channel, Kita Sean, and my gameplay channel, Kita Sean, or Kita Game, sorry. I was gonna say Kita Sean TCG. But uh, check those out, links are down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!